Hello everyone. Welcome back to this new video on Spring Boot Backend Course 2024. So, in the previous video, we have set up our new Spring Boot project. We have set up our database configuration and our entity, right? In this video, we are going to see how we can handle the files. Now, in this entity, we have defined one field private string poster right now this poster is actually an image right a uh, poster of a movie correct so we need to upload the file somewhere we need to upload the image somewhere right but we need to we should not save the file in database because first of all if whenever we need to retrieve the data from the database that can be an expensive operation because the file size can be uh, very big also and that would put a more constraint on our database server right in real world so that's not an option to do so there are two options to do one is to, to put our files on the server file system okay which we are going to follow here and second is to use a third party file service so there are third party file services which are available which you will see later in the course but one of them is cloudinary okay if you have not heard you can ch check out it has a documentation on how to do but regarding that we will see later here we will follow the first approach we will upload the files on the server file system itself right server file system means this whole thing so here you can see the target folder so target folder here is a part of our project structure right so when the project get deployed there on that system also there is a file system because that is ultimately on some operating system only your system is being deployed so there also you give the path and you create the directory and all the files are uploaded on on the server side right so we are going to follow this approach so we will first do all the configuration related to our file upload and how to serve the file on the server right so but before that we will have to set up for a response type so for response we are going to use a dto class so let's set up a dto class first so let's create a new package dot dto dot dto and uh, let's create a new class name as movie dto right now this movie dto will have all the fields that are present here so let's just copy them and we have copied all just remove all these things put the validation validation is important so let's keep the validation but remove all the things which is not required the db level where the validations are not required for this dto class also this not blank validation that we yesterday put on the integer field uh, this is not a validation for integer field it is a validation for a string field okay so we should remove this also and uh, from here also and from here also correct and let's put okay let's put a, a data a lombok annotation which will give us almost everything but we need a no rx constructor and maybe a all rx constructor okay so these are the only two things which we require now since our dto class will be responsible for interacting with the controller side and all the data related thing uh, for taking the values and transferring to the actual um, to actually mapping to the actual entity so this class is important so and we will be using this class for response also so that's why we are using one more field here for now which is private string poster url now this poster url is an important field and we should put a 
annotation also a validation please provide posters url okay now why this poster url is important when we are trying to save our data then it is fine we don't need to save our url why because uh, if we change our servers okay from in, in premise to a cloud based service or from one cloud to another then the base url or the whole url can get changed right so we don't want that to happen but what we want is that when we are sending a response to the user when the user want to fetch the data then at that time we need to provide a url to that user so that that you uh, now if we just send the poster data okay so it, it will contains the image name so suppose it will have default.png right now what will user know that what is actually in the image we have to give actual image also so we need to provide the url of the image okay so that will be a part of response but this will we will see when we will be dealing with the movie api for now our purpose is to build the file service api okay so that we can handle files so to handle files let's create first a service package we'll have we have created a service package so here we will write file service now this file service will be of a interface so here we will define the methods which are required so first method will be a uh, uploading the file right that is the primary method that we will we have to first upload the file right now when we are uploading the file what we should get in return so we expect we should get the file name in return right so string upload file and what will it take it will take a path on the path on which the we are going to upload the file and a file so this file will be of type multi part file so in uh, spring boot this multi part file type is used okay when we are dealing with the file in the restful manner right so th this is used then and we will use throws io exception okay now second thing is we need to serve the file now to serve the file we cannot directly take the file and serve it so how it works in the rest protocol is that you cannot just directly uh, you can not just directly fetch the file from the server and serve it on the web or serve it to the user on the front end right you need to convert the file to the streams or to the bytes so for that purpose we we need a kind of stream file stream so for that we need a input stream which we generally use and the file which is there we are getting as an input stream it is a kind of resource so we can say a resource file right and it will take two parameters first it will take path so first we need to provide it a path from where it should fetch the file and the name of the file so that it can search for, for that file on that path right and it throws file not found exception okay so because if a file is not present on that path then it will throw a file not found exception right so these are the two methods that is important for for dealing with the file first is uploading the file so when we are trying to save the data for movie entity then at that time this method is important that first we upload the file get the file name set the poster value and then up save the data right and if we are going to fetch the data from the database then we first fetch a data from the database then we call get resource file we get our actual file in the form of input stream we generate a url also and then we have this movie dto so along with all the data that comes from the database we additionally put a generated url and then we 
serve it on the front end or on the to any platform that we want so that way it is useful so this is our whole intention behind these two methods now let's implement these methods so we have file service impl so this file service impl will implement for file service right alt enter implement methods let's implement both methods now to implement these methods first we'll annotate this a uh, class with service and secondly we will see how to now uh, build logic for upload file now when we are going to upload file we have the file with us okay which we have got from the user okay and then we have a string path now from where we will get the path so we we can define our path in a in our configuration file so we come to here and here we define projects or project and then poster okay and here you can define a path so what you are doing is this is a variable that you have defined an environment variable and this is the directory name that you have defined for the where you want it. now where this path will actually be so this path actually be on the main project path so this is our main project and the absolute path for this project is or all the directories are on this path right if you just um, minimize src then you'll get all these directories on this path right so here only this poster directory will be generated right so we have configured this path here perfect now next is we need the name of the file first right because we have to return that so get name of the file so to get name of the file we'll say file name equal to we have file and then it has a method get original file name so from this method uh, from this method we are getting the name of the file second thing is to get the file path so to get the file path now how do we get the file path so we have already provided a path to it and then we just want to append the file to that path simply right so we will say path plus now if we directly concatenate then it will just concatenate two strings we need to define something which the spring understands that okay this is not a simple concatenation it is appending the file to that path so there is a method which is file the file comes from java.io dot separator and then we say name of the file so uh, file name okay so this file dot separator works as an identification which tells that these two things needs to be appended path is a actual path on which this file needs to get appended okay so that is one thing now to we have to actually uh, create a file object and uh, copy the file to that path that we are getting right so first we'll create a file object file object create a file object so let's create a file object and we will give it a path to it so that the file object is created for that path now this file object is responsible that whether the path exists or not already on the main way like here for now you cannot see a poster's path right so we need to create it automatically if it does not exist so we will say if not f dot is f dot exists 
then f dot make dir mk dir so it will create a directory of posters right as we have defined in our resources right so okay let's define it posters so it will be better so we have created the path also next step is to copy the file or uh, upload file to the path so for that purpose we use the another java library java.nio.file okay so files dot copy now it requires a input stream okay so we will have file dot get input stream then it require a path so to get a path it has itself this library itself has a class so let's use that paths dot get so we need to provide it the file path because file path is the actual path for the file where we actually want to upload the file file path is the actual path for the file where we actually want to upload the file and the third is the options now here there are various options that is available for us suppose you have uploaded the file with the name suppose uh, happy png okay now you are if you up again upload another file with the same name happy png so what you expect to do whether you want to replace that existing file with the same name or you want to tell user that no the file with the same name exists so we cannot upload the file so that is your option uh, how do you decide for now we are taking that option so we will say standard copy option dot and here is a replace existing so this option will what it will do is if there is an already existing file with the same name it will remove that and the new file that you are putting it will upload that okay and simply here you have to return file name that's it so this is how the file is uploaded on the backend server right now second is to get this resource so for getting this resource again first we of course need a complete path from where we can get the file so a relative path that we have provided in the uh, yml is is there and the file name we have provided let's keep it as file name here also and here also so that it is clear that it is for file name okay so for getting the full file path so we need a file path through this way we can get the whole file path so just copy it and paste it here now we need to return of input stream so we will return there are multiple uh, input stream it means uh, other classes which also extend input stream like file input stream so we will say file input stream and we will supply file path uh, file path okay so this will provide the file in the form of an input stream and specifically a file input stream okay so that we can easily serve on the on the web or to the user right so this is done for the uploading of the file and for getting the file but we now actually want to do it so how to actually do it so we have to build a controller so let's create a package here we will say controllers in the controllers package we will create a file controller and we will mark it as rest controller and a base url we will write so base url let's write as slash file okay now we want to use the file service for performing the operations so first we will say private final file service and file service alt enter add constructor parameter so we will use constructor injection for it now we have to create our endpoints 
so first will be post mapping post mapping it is for upload to upload the file we have to use post mapping we will use public response entity of type string and uh, we will say upload file handler now in the input parameter we will take a multi part file so we have to take it as a request part so we will take multi part file file and of course it will throw io exception okay now simply what we have to do is we have to use file service dot upload file for getting this path we need to define a variable private string path but what will be its value so its value should be this project poster right so for using this environment variable we have an annotation name as value okay here dollar curly braces and then we will write projects dot poster okay so it has project dot poster okay it is project dot poster so this is how we define our uh, environment variable so we pass path into it and we pass file into it okay so it will return the name of the file so uploaded file and we will say uploaded file name okay and we will return a response entity dot ok in which we will pass file uploaded and then name of the file so uploaded file name right so this is how we will upload our file now for serving the file we actually need to get the file so we will use a get mapping and we will we need just one thing that is for file name we just need to provide a file name in a path variable rest it will do its on its own there will be no response type it will just uh, give us a file so it will be of type void and we will say serve file handler okay so in this we have to provide two parameters first is of course the path variable that we have taken so path variable of type string string file name now this file name and this file name both should be same so just ensure that it is same second we want http servlet response because we will directly give a response so that's why we are not returning anything so we will use a file service dot get resource now path we already have file name we will get from the path variable and it is saying to add exception to the signature now we will get a input stream right so we have got a input stream from here now we just have to define the in what format do we want this input stream to be in so we said set content type to be so your file can be of type gif jpeg png so for i'm taking png for now you can take anything right and then next is you have said okay i want a file in the form of media type dot png value but what we are getting is a input stream so to convert it we need to send this input stream which is coming from the user to an output stream and that output stream will be converted to the required response so we have a method in this spring for stream utils dot copy which take two parameters first it takes is a input stream okay and then we say response dot get output stream so again we have to handle it the exception so we'll throw for now when we'll then we will uh, 
talk about exception handling at that time we will see how to handle these exceptions in a proper format but for now we are just throwing the exceptions so this is how we have to upload and serve the file handler right so our controller is also ready so let's summarize what we have done so to send a response we have created a movie dto class which will is responsible for the data uh, handling the data from request data and response data and we have added additional field which is not we are using right now because this will be used actually in when we will be dealing with the CRUD operations of the movie entity right so we have created this second we have for handling the file any type of file we have said we have defined two methods for file one is uploading the file and one is getting the file for uploading the file we are providing path and multiplied file from the user and for getting the file we are get taking a path and file name so file name is coming from user path we are all automatically providing us from the yml right then we have implemented it got the original file name set up the file path then created a the, the directory if, in which our files will be uploaded and then copied our files to those directory along with the option that if a another file of the same name comes then the existing one will get replaced okay and uh, here we have generated the file path and returned a new file input stream right then we have created a controller for uploading and serving the files all right okay so we have uh, written all the logic here now run our code and see what is the whether it's working perfectly or not okay so let's see so let's run our application okay so our application is ready okay so we have set up our uh, here the url file slash upload now here we have to come to the body form data and here we have to enter as key value so in key enter file because here in the multi the variable name is file right so the variable name here and the key here should be same now here is the option text or file so select file select from here we will select one file select a png file because if you select another file it will upload but when we have to serve it will not come because we have said we want a png value okay so let's send and you can see file uploaded c1.png okay file name is c1.png and if we come here you will see here we have a new directory created posters in which c1.png is there and we can see the images also come right now second thing is to for serving on the web so for web we have uh, we have to come to our own web let's copy the base urls so we have copied the base url paste here c1 dot png and c it's working right we have served the file on the web so our work on file handling and the file service we have implemented successfully so now we are ready to integrate this file service into our main movie api and work with the api so in the next video we are going to build the operations to handle the movie api and we will integrate this file service into that okay so i hope you have understood the whole concept if anything there is a doubt or anything you have not understood you can post in the comment section i will try to answer that and if you like this content if you like the video please like the press the like button and share it more and more also if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next one till then bye bye